Hello everyone, my name is Furkan. I am a student of Greek Thai Fantasy. Today I'm going to talk about one of the most important issues for our planet, space debris. Nobody knows anything about space debris, but I'm going to give, inf give information about space debris now. From 1952 now, many space agencies are making space missions. But the space missions brought some problems like space debris. As of August 2007, there have been 194 breakups and 51 events in which debris was shed from an object, and breakups can be caused by explosions and collisions. Explosions can result from resonant propellant or headed batteries or, in some cases, deliberate destruction of the satellite. The cause of approximately 22% of observed breakups is unknown. So, we have to be more careful when we are making a spacecraft. And now I'm going to speak about risks of space, space debris. To further illustrate this damage, pot damage potential, consider that an aluminium sphere 1.3 mm in, the di in a diameter can inflict dama damage similar to a 22 caliber long rifle bullet. This is really, really big crash. In 1996, a French satellite hit and damaged by debris of a French rocket. Some people think this is not a big problem. We have not to think about it. We have more, uh, more important issues. But what I want to say to you, when a debris crash, crash to a satellite and when satellite breaks down, we cannot fix it again. And a satellite, the cost of a satellite is $500 million. Well, how can we solve this problem? Why didn't we solve this problem before? I don't know why, but I know we had to solve this problem before. I have an idea to solve this problem. Space Cleaning Service. This is my own idea. We're gonna compose a crew, and but this crew is not consisting of humans. This crew is consisting of mechanical-handed spacecrafts called TARS. You can remember TARS from Interstellar movie. TARS called walking, but it couldn't fly. But my TARS can fly everywhere. We're going to send 20 TARS to space at the same time. And this spacecraft will rotate, will rotate in orbit around the world at the same speed as the debris. And they will be able to catch all of the debris that in orbit around the Earth. Well, how does work, TARS work? TARS is a little rocket size a fridge. It's capturing debris with the mechanical hand and grinding with the grinder. TARS is laying out trash into its tongue, and when it's filled, tongue leaving from body and falling to earth. As a result, we clean up. You're asking, can we really do it? When we look to our technology, we can do it because we can send 20 and more satellites at, at, to space with the same rockets. Also, artificial intelligences, fast developments, will help us to do this project. You know that aliens will come to our Earth from other galaxies, and probably they will see these treasures. And I can imagine they will say, what a dirty planet. What a dirty humans. This is a really shameful thing. So, we have to keep clear around our Earth. Thank you.